Hey guys, it's Cassie. Today we are going to be talking about luxury items that I love but won't buy. I did this video towards the end of last year or something and it was fun to do but today there's a twist and the twist is is that the main reason behind all of these pieces is because I think they're not worth it money wise price wise okay so we're really going to be dwelling on the uh, in my opinion extortionate price for these very specific items I feel like we'll have this imaginary line with luxury items that's like, I'm not going to buy it if it's over X amount. This line can move over time, this line can move or become non-existent when you just are obsessed with the piece and you're like, I've got to have it. And just to reiterate, I love these items and should they be gifted to me? I would gladly accept, just not from my own pocket, you know? Okay, kicking it off with number one. This is the Dior bra and pant set. It's actually not a set because you buy them separately. So they do these now in some really fabulous designs. Oh my gosh, there's like an oblique one and all of that, right? But we're going to take the plain one because it's the cheapest. Once again, to reiterate, I love it. And when I see other people in it, I'm like, damn it, go off sis, love that for you, right? But I'm the type of person, if I'm spending that kind of money, I will be wearing it all the time. To the point that I will wear this thing to death. And I will now be known as a, f gosh, she's wearing that sudden, she's got a bra strap out again so that everybody knows, so that I can get my money's worth. This to me is just 650? No thank you, no thank you sir. I also feel like this works for like specific occasions. I'm talking a Coachella. I'm talking, you know, a kind of event where you can wear them both and maybe like have a low slung jeans that you can get the band on it, that kind of thing. And once again, this is not the life I lead. With a lot of luxury items, you can put it down to the craftsmanship. Oh, it's, you know, it's expensive, but the craftsmanship behind it, you know? This is essentially a, a plain bandeau top that, let's be honest, we know is made out of very high quality material. That bandeau will be the best bandeau that your titties have ever experienced. But it's just that with just a little bit of straps, you know, like, I can't, I can't call me stingy, whatever. I simply cannot. Okay, item number two, we know has been a lot of back and forth with me. And as much as I am obsessed with this item, I simply can't. This is the Versace Crystal Travel Mug, right? I can't get over the name. It's not a mug, okay? But whatever. Um, here we go. This thing is just under £800 for a reusable cup. Go off the environment. We love that. But these crystals from the digging that I have done aren't even Swarovski, okay? And if I'm going to get a crystal studded cup situation that's designer and 800 pounds i expect the highest quality of crystals to be involved right a Swarovski crystal and a normal crystal they don't compare they don't sparkle the same all right so firstly i'm paying 800 pounds for a crystal mug where the crystals aren't even Swarovski i'm not gonna get that blinding facets going off you know mm, mm, so there's that Second of all, it's not dishwasher safe, is it? No, it's not. And I love an easy life. So I'm gonna be have to, having to hand wash that. And on top of that, should a crystal fall off, end me. End me right then and there, because that will kill me. Now, I know I have my fair share of crystal studded pieces. All right, all right. I am comfortable enough with these such that I know that those crystals are on there. Or I, I don't foresee any of those just popping off at any which thing. Like I'm gonna have to be in a, in a sort of very intense situation for any of those to pop off. Same thing here, I wore those in mud, all of them are still intact, you know? And on a mug, on a mug, when you're glued onto metal, ooh, I don't know, I don't know. Let's be honest, we know for the brand, this would be perfect. Oh my gosh, I would be here sipping. I mean, let's be honest, I'm not scraping at the floor here. You know, if she's here with a little bit of YSL, all right? Mm, being a sensible adult, which I am not very often, but sometimes she kicks in and she's kicking in and I just can't do it. Once again, there was a gift. Yes, please. All right, item number three is the Hermes Kelly Twilly bag charm. Wow, okay. I couldn't find the pound price for this, but the dollar's price is $2,725. Now, we know I love a mini bag, okay? 
this is not new information. But I have my limits with mini bags, especially when you cannot really use them. Yes, 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 I know that you can actually undo the lock and open it up, right? Firstly, your girl has got nails. These are press-ons at the moment, but when things are open again, they will be acrylics. £250 for that, although ridiculous, isn't $2,700. You know, let's say in pounds, just over £2,000, right? No. I cannot. On top of that, I don't, I'm not really like a bag charm kind of person anyway, so it won't be used as a bag charm. So essentially, I'm just paying two grand for it to sit there and look pretty. I see, I mean, it's cute. Look, we can't deny that this is like, oh my gosh, so adorable and tiny and cute. But I refuse, I refuse to pay two grand for the ultimate TBE. But is it the ultimate TV? Mm, it is, yeah, okay, okay. I mean, it's such a flex, it really is, but I, I simply cannot. Okay, next up, item number four is an iconic heritage piece of this brand. And I love it, and I see myself getting one at some point, but that point is not now, slash in the immediate future. This is the Louis Vuitton Petit Mal. Love it, here for the vibes, that hard, you know, that hard shell, that hard shell exterior, right? I love that. It's an homage to um, Louis Vuitton's foundations of hard shell luggage, blah, blah, blah. We love it. She looks great, let's be honest. Do you, is, is this just me or do you associate certain prices to certain brands? And if I'm going to spend £3,700 on a bag, I'm going to go to Chanel, you know? And I just have this kind of like association thing. And maybe that's just something that I just need to, you know, work out. Also, I think that like, I'm just obsessed with other bags more, but at a three, seven price point, I'm just gonna keep putting it off and get something else that I much more enjoy from a brand that has been stealing money from me for years in that price point, you know? I don't know, does that make sense? Eh, help me out. All right, we could put this in another TBE category. Item number five, the Chanel AirPods case. This is 810 pounds. Now, I'm not averse to designer AirPods cases. I have one. This is my little Gucci AirPods case. What was it, 185, 200, something like that, right? She's cute, she does the job, she does it in a bougie way. Again, it, it, to me, an AirPods case isn't as stupid as a designer phone case because you're not gonna change. I'm somebody that changes my phone every time a new one comes out. Um, and I'm not going to do that with the AirPods. I don't know why, I just don't have the same, like, affinity, you know? £200-ish on an AirPods case. 200 300 I see you. 800 I don't like my AirPods that much, you know? Like, again, I think they're so cute. I think they're, like, fabulous and all of that. Also the necklace aspect. And I know not all of them have the necklace aspect. But the ones, the designs that I like, sadly, are the ones that have a necklace aspect. Ah, to be honest, I'm not really not going to wear this thing around my neck, right? And if I'm going to wear it around my neck, it's probably not going to have AirPods in it because the social situations in which I would wear it around my neck do not lend to me having headphones in. Does that make sense? I don't know. Item number seven is a weird one because it's an item that I have. But would I have gone back and done this and bought it? No. Straight up. So this is the Dior book tote. As we know, I have a leather version, that in itself, why? Really the, the very comparable alternative to this is the Louis Vuitton on the go. I am aware that the vibes are very different between these bags, but I'm just saying, if I were to go back, I wouldn't buy my book tote when the on the go was out. Once again, we can put a lot of designer items and their pricing down to the craftsmanship. Craftsmanship where? with the book tote. I mean, it is five pieces of fabric um, and two handles and a bit of stitching, you know? There's no hardware or whatever. I think we can all agree this is the Ikea shelf equivalent of bags. Look, I get it and I love it. And yes, gift me a small one, please. And I will gladly put it to use. Aside from that, because I have beef with the mini and we know this, the mini is 2000 pounds. Even less craftsmanship because that literally, don't even, don't even, because that thing in the handles is one piece of, no. Let's compare, and I know these aren't the same, but just hear me out here. The mini is 2000, a saddlebag in the big, in the big normal size, right? Is 2800 first of all when I bought mine what 
three years ago now, it was 2050. So price increases. But if we compare these two, this 800 pounds difference between these, look at how much more craftsmanship is in the saddlebag. Hardware. You've got elements here that you're like, all right, this took some time to put together. I can't, I simply can't. Finally, we have a Balenciaga piece. It's actually a few pieces, right? So I'm talking about the Balenciaga logo sweater, logo cardigan, and also they now do like a ribbed mini dress with the logo all over it. Here we go. Do I like it? Yes. Am I going to pay for it? No. I've mentioned this before that Balenciaga, I honestly admire their level of laziness when it comes to design, okay? They know that they can just slap their name on an item and it will sell. And that is essentially what they have done with these pieces, okay? They know that it does well. And honestly, I admire that. They act like the person in a school group project that contributes nothing and still gets an A because the rest of the team worked, right? And you're riding on the coattails, free rider, that is the free rider theory in economics. Hello, hello, somebody's degree coming in handy. Anyway, and I admire that because why? Why put in the effort if you know you're gonna get an A plus at the end anyway, right? I see that and I get it. I'm not paying 800 pounds for that. So once again, if it was a gift, gladly accept and I would rock it to death. However, it's actually 900 pounds. I'm not going to shell out 900 pounds on a very lazy piece, you know? You know? Is that just me? Am I a stinge? Let me know. Um, let me know if you agree with any of the items that I've discussed today. Let me know what items you simply cannot shell over your money for within the realm of luxury. I'm going to link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.